Crunch gave the potato chip. On this episode of What? I can't hear you over the bag. Twinkly loud rapper noises and crunching sounds. Mm. Dude, this this game just totally like switched. We were like freaking out in Desert Ravine, Guardians and stuff. Now we're just like wilderness and it's like wild game that mm -hmm. you're hunting. But those ones look really cool. Can try the moose, because we actually didn't get to try out on the moose, and you still got that max stealth. Insta kill. Maybe. Oh, oh my god, that pile of meat. You get it, get it. Whoa. Put some of your- Oh, it's already cooked. Oh, that sucks. I can't cook it now. It's I know, food. the raw meat you have? Put some of it on the ground so it freezes. So when we get to the desert, you can eat it. And it's cold. It's only a minute, but still. Yeah, like emergency stock. Alright. Yeah, so look how many we got. Now. Hold like five of them. And we'll just have five of them. Sure? Yeah. Well, I guess yeah, there's a lot. Just drop them. Wait for them to freeze and grab them all. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, oh shit. shit. Octorock. Take that, you octo. Doc. Dick. Whoa. What the hell is that? I don't know. Just go check it out. I'm, gonna, I'm going to right after I go up here. How are we going to get up there? That looks like it's really boosted with ice. It is. It's a good thing we have the flaming sword. Log cabin? Oh, yeah, where was that? Oh, yeah. It's it was there. right between. It was on our way up anyway. Oh, the acorns can't be frozen, but the meat can. <laughs> Racist. Plantist. Morph? Morph! Say, Everything I drops right prime now. meat. Grab it before it freezes. Or do you want it to freeze? It took too long. <laughs> I was gonna let it freeze, but I'm like, ah, uh, no. Oh, okay. This area is not as cold. You're what? like borderline being cold, and right here it's not as cold. What? It's higher up. How is that? Back there is snowing and kind of wind. Because there's like no wind here. And sunlight. Alright. Cabin of the Moose Men. Maybe. Hurry. Dude, that's Alaskan as fuck right there. The wood carvings where mm -hmm. you take a log and carve it into have it carved. Native Americans used to do it too. <gasps> Ooh, cool. Quite literally. Oh, oh I heard kittens. Now, my name's Scruffy. Ah, kittens. Nice <laughs> to meet a fresh face in these Your bars. Scruffy voice is terrible. I know it is. Do your Scruffy voice. <clears throat> hey, yo, kittens. There nice you to meet you. Fresh face in these parts. <laughs> Not through every day I get company in these high in the hills. Mm -hmm. Can't give you a warm welcome, but how about a game? I make up a snowball, or I like to call it snowling. <laughs> it's very scruffy. It is. I'll try it. How does it work? How does it work? Oh. Well, sweet boy, show an interest. If you don't mind the rules, I can explain them in a flurry. Get it? I made a snow joke. <laughs> At the foot of the hill, I have a ten count on them ten pillars, or pins. I'll give the snowball a good hearty toss from the tip of the top of the hill. I'll try and knock them all over. All the pins you can. Ball might take a few detours on its ride down the hill, but any pins it hits, reaches the bottom, are done for. <laughs> No cooler or feeling than smashing all the pins at once. You can put seed for yourself. Go on, give them all. Sounds oh, fun. Aw, uh, you. Sweet music, Everyone yes. cons you out of money for these things. One catch, though. The game costs you 20 rubies to play. You still up for a round? Uh, no thanks. Okay. You're so greedy. <laughs> Every time we run into money, someone. Money. Ice on the top of you. It's like we're carrying. Move. It's like you're carrying a two hundred dollars in your wallet cash, and someone's like, "Well, I know if you get to stick a gum, it's going to cost you dollar fifty. And you're like, eh, "I don't know." <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you can't pick up these rocks. <laughs> I'm trying to pick up rocks. Does he have a diary? My name's Scrubber. My diary. Nope. He's got booze, though. That's how you stay warm, man. 
All right. Let's cook it's some more food. stuff. We're gonna cook some meat. Wait. Grab, like, don't don't cook anything. Get one of your frozen meats and put it next to the fire. We'll thaw out. Oh, I like what you. Oh, I can only eat it. Nope. Oh. Uh, okay, never mind. Because that would have been. That would have been neat. Freeze really it cool. Out there. Yeah, that would be cool. Because then you can go in the desert and be like, oh, I don't need this anymore. Drop it on the ground. Regular meat. Jerky. You can cook it up. Yeah. Turns it to jerky or Turns something. Turns it to jerky. That'd be neat. <gasps> we'll save some meat and toss it in the desert and see what it's. No, wait, jerky, you need to smoke. Doesn't matter. We're going to the desert and we're going to drop some meat on the ground and see if it turns into something. Right, the co-workers has a smoker. Really? In his backyard. Oh, man. Oh, that would be... Him and one of the salesmen, he's like, he's like a big, he's like a, a hefty guy, the salesman. Mm -hmm. They talk about freaking grill stuff all the time. Uh, and I really like grilling, in case anyone didn't know. So, didn't. of course, it's like, well, I think you're the only one that watches this, so whatever. The, Other um, people watch this. You, you at work. Um, <laughs> Sometimes I watch it at home, too. I'm three different people. That's at least three people. The me, myself, and I <laughs> logic. Exactly. Try berries and meat and so. Do and you want to try to make some of that super hearty truffle? Yeah, we're gonna combine it with one of our raw, our really big prime meats. We're gonna make super duper food. It's like it's like full recovery plus twelve. <laughs> yeah, All right, that would be amazing. All right, so we're gonna do this. A god uh, of cooking shows up and grants you favor. Exactly. <laughs> this, this. Uh, Salt. Little bit salt of always boosts it. Salt. What else? For our super prime dish of amazingness. Ancient core. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh, you'll like the one lady we're gonna meet in the desert. We have a very big fan of hers. Oh, okay. I'll take your word for it. The desolation she has caused in the name of food. Definitely be something you'll, you'll be, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Come on, be useful. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. I knew it was going to be at least a full recovery oh, from yeah. something. That was good. That was a really good idea. All right. Let's try this. And I feel like it's that's a little bit of overkill for this, what this, you get this. out of it. I feel like those ingredients we have, you should have just only one. Because it seems like when we add more, it doesn't, like, keep that same worth of value. Music! <laughs> yeah. Why did you just say ten hearts? That was really weird looking. I don't know. But hopefully you'll get some use out of the, those high-level foods soon. Let's do this, 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 and this. Add a little bit of diamond in there. <laughs> We're not making Goron food. Stop it. <laughs> Those two Goron brothers show up doing their little dumb dance. Yeah! <laughs> Where they alternate little kicks with their yeah, tiny yeah. feet mm, with their hands mm, in the air. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> yeah, it's my favorite. It's Rock Rose. It's fucking rocks with a bone in the middle. Just make five chill mushrooms. I'm sure we'll find more of them. We probably will, but I'm going to combine it with me just to see if it does anything. It'd be funny if it just ruins them. Because yeah, they're just fucking <laughs> Wow. Aw, oh, yeah. That, we're doing that again. Don't try no. Like this, and like this. And this time, I'm going to add this. Just to see if it does anything. <laughs> you asked the salt. I would like to see a um, cooking channel on YouTube oh, or something. Nice. Where they only cook things. They try to recreate things like they did, like in this game. Oh, that would actually. Where you take like a big piece of steak like that. Yeah. And add like actual cooking mushrooms and stuff. That'd yeah. Be interesting. That would be like stir fry it and be like, right. I wonder what this would. Obviously, it's not gonna be chili salt grilled prime meat. It's not gonna give you. Because look, it's grilled. There's grill lines on it. You're not grilling. You're stir frying. Right. And there was a lemon slice. Where'd the lemon come from? Right. It's not even lemon in the game. Nope. The closest oh, thing is those guts right there mm -hmm. from the giant. Wow, lemon. Oh, what? yeah. Yeah. That, too. I forgot about that. Mm-hmm. And some salt. Doing it. I think the salt might ruin it this time, though. Sea salt ice cream. Yeah. 
Not bad. Um, but that's the thing in uh, the Kingdom Hearts. Mm -hmm. It's called Scream, and it's like a blue creamsicle. Hmm. It's that same light blue that those really? chill rooms were. And mm -hmm. um, it doesn't give you anything. It's not a stat. It's not an item you get. But it's there's like certain cutscenes, like um, Scrooge McDuck. You can find him, and he has his own business. And it's like a side quest. Ah, oh, okay. In the second game. <sighs> Too bad he was part of some of the stuff where you don't get actual talking. It was just like the text bubble. Which is a real bummer, because Scrooge they McDuck. Yeah, they yeah. missed out on some opportunities for some unique dialogue. Dude, if he's, if he's in Kingdom Hearts 3, they'd be missing out if on the English version. <gasps> we maxed out. <laughs> yep, we finally did it. And he can sleep in his bed. We can too. We're doing it. Why not? Probably already morning, but we haven't slept in like a couple months. He's wake up and he's just cuddling next to you and you're like, oh god, no! <laughs> okay. We needed that once without. Yep. Watch it now be too icy. Yeah. You wake up and he's like, oh god, I slept too long! But this flame sword has to be the most appropriate weapon to have in this area. Mm-hmm. That's why I still have it. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have two, but there's a reason I still have it. I hope we run into more ice lizards, because that was really cool that you just melted them. You might there's be able to melt secret. stuff with this. There's a secret. Oh? Guardian inside? It melts. Oh, it is shrinking. It's taken a long time, though. Which I have the sword in my hand. Without the sword, it will not melt. And I have to have it in my hand, too. What about a torch? Will a torch do anything here? Mm-hmm. Right, and you could light one and get it up here. If you put wood there and you strike it once with your flame sword, you should light it. Maybe. I one. Yeah, just maybe. It's gonna roll down the fucking hill. Damn, look at that. A lot faster. Frosty the snowman. <laughs> oh god, Frosty, why? It's a jolly happy man. It's the middle of July as we're recording this and 90 degrees outside. <laughs> it's Christmas in July. <laughs> oh. I wonder if anything. This one probably has nothing. It doesn't look like it. It has to be something small, because it would have shown up by now. I'm still groovy. There it goes. Yeah. I'll pick up the campfire. <laughs> yeah, put this one as close to as many of them as you can. The next fire we make. Yeah. God, they look like diamonds. Can you climb them? Probably not. Try it. Because if you can climb them and put a fire on top, that'd be hilarious. That would be hilarious. We're gonna like this. Because they're short. They're short enough you could like do one jump when you're climbing and you could get on top. This works too. Oh no! Good thing we got another. It breaks really easy when you hit ice with it. I have a strange sense of deja vu from that. I think I think I saw worlds collide do this exact tower. Yeah. And I think about it. With the flame sword. What? Yep, might as well. You'll take damage. What? We're in the extremely cold part. We're standing next to a fire right now, so it's really hot. But you got the warm doublet on. Mm-hmm. There's even colder areas. There's areas that are so cold the warm doublet cannot keep you. Do we get an S fit? No. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Nope, and I know what we're supposed to do. It's the reason we're never getting rid of gems ever again. Sapphires? Yep. There's a reason it says provides cold resistance. There's also a reason why I said we need ten flint. Oh? directly related to the same reason that provide us with really great resistance to uh, extreme cold and extreme heat. 
all that jazz. Hmm. Do we need to melt all these? I don't know, but I'm melting in multiples just to make sure they don't drop anything. You should put fires around here, and we go up to the tower, and by the time we get back down, they'll be melted. Yeah, but if they don't do anything, I'm not going to waste the wood. You got, like, 50,000 wood, we and need, we can get 50,000 wood. We need 30 of that wood, and 3,000 gold. We have twice that. We don't have any of that in as far as money goes. No, I mean wood-wise. Oh, wood-wise, yes. We can easily light them if we have our torch. Well, looks like I'm cutting down more trees. If only there were more trees. Do a lighting wood, and you're good. Perfect. Stay. Hey, hey. Stay. We're taking damage, by the way. Oh, are you? With the window. Oh, hey, here we go. Yay. The wood freezes, you can't light it. Yep. Do you see warm with, with the torch near, being nearby? Notice how I'm near the fire? Look at the temperature. I know, but I'm saying with the torch out on fire, does that count as a heat source? I don't think so. It should, but I don't think so. It wouldn't be the, as much of one as you think. Torches surprisingly yeah. don't really put off that much heat. Because oh, most of it's above you. Most of the heat is above you, and then it's rising. Right. So well, let's find out. The freezing cold part. It Should just means you can't do right? combat. Oh my god, look. It. My temperature's not changing. Nope, it just means you can't do combat. That's kind of neat. Because the second you switch out to anything else, the bow or anything... Yeah, the torch goes out. Yeah. That's the problem. But if you could find a lit torch, you could logically then go through a whole cold area and be basically protected from it. There are some of these things that do legit have like treasure chests or money or something okay. in them, I think. I'm to gonna, some degree, but... I'm going to stop eating snacks in the middle of this. I was going to say, the mid kind of our theme for this episode is uh, snacks. Eh, I've had enough snacks. It's a little late for me to be having a whole bunch of snacks. Have some really weird ass dreams if you eat a lot of food before bed. Only if you eat weird food before bed. Yeah, like chips or sourdough pretzels. No, chocolate or like a cheesecake. Like a whole cheesecake. Like a piece of cheesecake. Because I've had a piece of cheesecake before. Yeah, I, I don't get the appeal for cheesecake. I, I think it's really gross. You're really gross. I know. You also hate things that are uh, sweet, so. Yeah, because the sour is sweet for me. And I'm weird like that. Aha! Now, now that this is all burning up, let's climb to the top of the tower. Mm hmm. And if you start taking cold, which you are right now, you should drink one of those potions you just made. Yeah, let's see if that works. Or I'm eat one of the foods. Stacks with cold or no, we had a potion of it. And that too. That's four, 4 minutes 50 seconds. We, oh, we have one. Oh, yeah. Because if we combine that with our current one, it should work. It did. It stacked. Hey, that's a good way to think of that. If we wear the warm doublet, we only need basic cold resist potions instead of advanced ones. Yay! Because it does stack. Yay! Stacking. Logic. It'd be interesting if you like ate up more stamina, as yeah. um, as if you were like taking cold damage. Oh yeah, yeah. So, that would be interesting. So remember, they added they added that damage type in Dark Souls Three, and I really wish they would have added more to it—the the frost, the cold mm -hmm. stuff, like yeah. the cold weapons and stuff. And they were based on your intelligence, which yeah, it didn't really make any sense. But uh, it's still an interesting thing. They were, yeah, they looked wizardy, so that's probably. Oh, well, they're sorceries that do ice. 
That's why. Bet. The um, but I think it should have been like bleed and poison and been that luck stat. I know a lot of people are <laughs> shitting on the luck stat, but it's a stat that's both for your item discovery and people grind enemies for their armor and stuff in right. Dark Souls series. Right. And they, it's the stat for your bleed and poison and your, like your conditional damage stuff. Mm. The higher your um, luck was, the more that did. Right. So if you were a luck build. And you had like a katana that did bleed, you could really wreck somebody with that. True. Problem is, no one plays luck build ever. Right. Mm -hmm. That's true. Well, I mean, why would you need to though if you can just drop tons of damage everywhere, which the strength build does? Yeah. So I mean, and the dex build drops a lot of damage really quickly. So why would you need to do any of the other things that you're doing? Oh, good. There isn't a random hobo up here like the last one. Oh, I'm sure there is, and we just haven't seen it yet. Oh, good, there is it. Oh, hey, the ship's right there. There it is, there's the city. Is it seriously under the ship? Because we were right there. We were traveling the whole way. We were traveling the right way, the whole time. We can glide there now, I bet. Yeah, that's definitely the reason we need but to do this. We'll but mostly because we needed this right here. Because we needed to see... The map that it's really taking a while to build up to looking at. Yeah. We're gonna, okay. Birds are living yeah. in the cold area, though. Boom. Because that look cost that. guy was really far away from here. Yeah, true. Wow, look at that. Wait, go look up. <gasps> look at that big temple thing. Yeah, that's weird. Oh, I guess you'll be able to actually look at it when we get our sleep. Yeah, there we go. Okay. The Hebra Mountains, Hebra Falls, Hebra Headspring, Hebra, Hebra South Summit. What's north of that? I could have sworn it's all stuff. Tower? <gasps> There's a big skull there. That's spoopy. Uh, the oh, God. Giant skulls. Sourdough pretzels. Peak. Like, the look basin. north. There was stuff north. Ice like, there. The hills. I think that's just a glacier. Oh, that's the end of the world. Yeah. Where's the I, I could have sworn I saw town. Cold snap hollow. There's no town here? Why would anyone build a town in here? I don't know. Nords? Oh, what's that? Just Maybe trees. Forest. I I could see a town. Maybe it was there that way. Well we don't have this area for some reason. Yeah. Even though we've discovered that stable and this thing, but not the teleporter next to that stable. Alright, well, we will... It's our forgotten temple. We will get and head towards the sky ship, then, on the next episode. Yeah. Canyon, right over here where we already were. Yep. Great. Yeah. Yeah.